Suckling backs himself, does Whoa. the spoiling, he might pay the price here. The kick over the top is a goal. A goal to Ireland, and it's scored by Pierce Hadley. No, it's not, it's scored by Eamon Callahan. The boy from County Kildare, and he read it beautifully. Suckling backed himself, Kev, but he paid the price for that. And a ricochet to Callahan, who just chipped it over the top very comfortably. Yeah, it was like a socket chip in the That's finish, wasn't it? Where feeling. you just pop it over the, the goalkeeper's head and let it run in as the round ball does. So it's back to the centre after the six point goal. And two versus two in its centre, centre throw up. 30 points to Diff. <laughs> this is smashing. Ooh. Oh, maybe it'll get Australians up and passionate about it. But sometimes it takes a bit of a belting for that to happen. Mm. Now, the Irish defence, which have been so clinical so far, put under a little bit of stress, and it's nicely kept in for Australia by Callum Ward, and here's Nikoski, didn't blaze, and yeah. gets some reward, Nahas. Ah, Nahas. And he missed his first shot at goal, quite convincingly. Let's see if he's learned his lesson. That looks all right. Hooray. Australia's second over of the night comes from Robin Nahas. And it's a very good play from Mark Nikoski there, Kevin. Great setup from Nikoski and Nahas. Soccer background again. The round ball doesn't phase him at all. And they'll need him to spark right up now with two or three in a row to get back within reach. And the Irish bring it back in quickly. Brendan Murphy has the ball smack bang in the middle of Etihad Stadium. Decides just to go bang and load up. High ball Ooh. and just reading it better. Reading it better was Stephen McDonald, and he is well within range. Yeah. The ball does tend to float a bit, Kev, and it has caught a few <laughs> yeah, Australian players out over the years. Very, very hard to judge. And now Stephen McDonald is using the natural arc, so he must come back and kick over Wojcinski. Beautiful curl and does. ball. Let's go down to Mark Howard. The Australians, they're finding it extremely hard to get to grips with the game. The Irish have really come out of the traps, uh, led by, of course, the a AFL players. Uh, Kennelly, Tommy Walsh, Zach Tui in particular have been outstanding, and Pierce Hanley uh, just putting in some big hits as well. Chance for the Australians here, Stephen. Swallow, kicks. Mm. Close to goal, but the Irish are up to the task, doing the spoiling. Now Tui, he lost the handle on it. Green keeps the ball alive. Mm. Beautiful trap here by Callum Ward. Gives it off to Douglas from long range. Oh, yeah. That's a wonderful over from Richie Douglas. Yeah. That's a beautiful kick. Fantastic passage of play, wasn't it? They upped the intensity. Callum Ward been prominent the last... Ah, he's not going to pass. No, and oh. you can see Tommy Walsh Ooh. coming straight at him. And hasn't he had a quarter? It's about his eighth possession this yeah. quarter. He has looked every inch a star of this international rules series. A Gaelic star. Can he be an AFL star? Certainly... 13, the size and the athleticism was all here. 13 disposals, already one over. Four marks, you can make mm. it two now. And the Irish re-establishing that huge margin of 30 points. Back to you, Mark. Sure, and Tommy Walsh, the Walsh surname in Gaelic football in Ireland is a massive name. It is. Tommy, of course, played for Kerry, um, won an Ireland medal with Kerry, a fantastic player. Uh, his father, Sean Welsh, a legend of the sport, a great one of the great midfielders of the game, played for Kerry in the 70s. Your goalkeeper, it's all coming from him too, Cluxton. His kicking has been unbelievable tonight, Sean. Yeah, he's an extremely clever player, never wastes the ball, and is an expert, really, of the, the outside of the left kick, which yeah. is very difficult to execute. He can't stop that one, though, boys. Mitch Robinson with an over for the Aussies to reduce that margin ever so slightly. I feel like they've got the hang of it a little bit more now, Kevin. Yes, gradually. they are uh, popped a couple of overs. Uh, that will give them a bit of confidence. They will build. They're, they're a very, very young side and certainly brand new at the round ball game. So expect them to, to improve, but whether it'll be enough to get within range. Uh, what about the Irish over the night? Do you think oh, the fitness level of the Australians will kick help? in. Yeah. Yes. No oh, doubt that. high tackle there by uh, Eamon. In fact, it was Kieran Donaghy who immediately apologised. It's all right when you whack a bloke over the chops and you say sorry. <laughs> But uh, nothing malicious in that as Douglas kicks the half forward. Looking for Milne. And at the moment, Kieran McKeever's got him covered and it's an island ball. Stephen Milne been very quiet so far. Just three touches. Has kicked an over though. 
There's the uh, leading possession getters. The only Aussie there is Bernie Vince. Buxton with 21 and Tommy Walsh with 13. Ball back into the middle of the ground. That's a good mark taken by Vince. He doesn't waste any time. Kicks to half forward to Swallow, who again is off, but he's caught. Mm. And he's gone holding the ball. No advantage. I think the right man's got to come back and take the free. Yep. Walsh doing the tackling. It's Aiden Walsh. Here's Zach Tui. Yeah. Quite get the waiting right that time. Tough for Tommy. And Bernie Vince. Australia's most prolific. Over to James Kelly. He just escapes. And he didn't quite get the angle off the boot the way he thought James Kelly so free kick goes to Walsh good harassment though from Kieran Donaghy Ken he, he, he rushed Kelly into the kick and then he enforced the turnovers so that's good defensive work from the Irish forward yes player. and they're helping each other out they've got numbers back here in defense haven't they they're getting down to help Cluxton and use him as the go-to player the distributor if you like oh, oh, here we here's go. a big chance green yes. those famous soccer skills oh, oh. <laughs> maybe that'll lift it yeah what a blue from the Irish captain yeah and the boy that tried out for Manchester United was able to put those skills into practice. It was the, Hasn't that been rolled teams. out over the years? Hey. He could have been used it in the right context. <laughs> Finally. And he was quite happy with it, Brad Green, too. Look, that's the sort of thing that can change momentum. Yeah. We've seen it over the years. The six-point goal gives you confidence. Run, run in the second half, and we will run over the top of them. So, as you said, Shifter, it's all about fitness at this stage for the Aussies. As we start the third quarter, and Donaghy for Ireland got the tap. There's a free kick for in the back, and it's going Ireland's way. And it's going to be taken here by Tommy Walsh, who's been really impressive. Certainly impressed the Irish commentators too. And that's a nice kick to Michael Murphy, who's starred this evening with three overs so far. One of the talented, tough forwards of the Gaelic competition. He hasn't disappointed tonight, and he's well within range to kick over number four. Mick Murphy gives it plenty of height. It's coming back. On clear, on clear. It's, an, it's over. an over. So three points to Ireland. They're back out to a 27-point lead. Not the start the Australians would want. They would want to expect to have got it out of the centre uh, with big Zach Smith in there, but it was Irish going forward. Oh. Wood, terrific aerial skills. Robinson, the dish was... Terrific too. Douglas had to hurry the kick. Mikoski, good ball control. Couldn't quite ride the tackle out successfully and the numbers prevail for Ireland. Kennelly again involved. And now Walsh. Kennelly, do you haven't we called those names tonight? Directing traffic while kicking the ball. Gets all the way through to Suckling, who reacts swiftly. Had to. Grig. It's it back from Frawley. Now he finds himself in some trouble, but did well to get it through to Wood. So here's the kick. Just as far as he can. Green turned around, but and just turned around in time to see the ball disappear. McKeever. Oh. Well, they've turned it over. Quick sniff for the blue Mitch Robinson. But not the result he was after. And Douglas, two Adelaide boys lead the way with 18 and 15 respectively. At Suckling to bring it in. Oh, it's a pretty ordinary kick. Bit, something a bit fancy. Kevin's turned it over. I'm not sure of the percentages of the drop kick, really. Mm. He's tried it a few times, yeah. hasn't he? Yeah. Glenn gets consistent. it across. Here's McDonald again going to work. High ball. Plenty of tall timber there, Donna. He couldn't go. Oh, what a clash. Bolton on the end of it. Mitch Robinson, as we know, is prepared to throw himself. Sometimes recklessly, anywhere. Oh, I think he's attacking the ball there. Mitch had eyes for the ball and went desperately for us, just accident as I could see that. I think Mitch is hurting as well. He just doesn't want to show it. Oh, gee, right on the side of the neck. That's what you don't want to see. Oh, gee, that is an enormous hit. Mm. 
let's hope he's okay. Both players were desperate for one that uh, has had a heavy knock. There's a bit oh, of uh, argy oh. bargy here. Oh. Oh, this, oh, this is what we don't want to see. And here we go. This is not what we wanted to see, and it is on. Australia and Ireland erupting again. Hopefully, cool heads will prevail, and they will be separated by the umpires. We don't want to see this. Brendan Murphy, who spent a couple of years in Australia at the Swans, he is right front and centre there. Well, this is great umpiring. They've managed to separate the teams. It was Kevin Riley, boys. He went into the Australian huddle almost like Dermot Brereton uh, in the Essendon days and just went over to have a word to the Aussie boys. You can see him in there, and uh, they didn't take to it too kindly. Well, I'll tell you what, it was one punch away from erupting yeah. there, so yeah. I'm glad that cool heads have prevailed, Kev. And I give credit to, to both referees for the way they've moved in there and separated what could have been something rather nasty. Ray Chamberlain still talking to, to Kevin Riley. Certainly appeared to initiate that. Wouldn't mind going back to Mark Howard uh, down on the boundary, Howie. What's the atmosphere like down at the moment? Wakes it long and high. Oh, it's a great kick. kick. And just uh, not reading it all that well was Nikoski. And in the end, it was a pretty comfortable mark to Kieran Donaghy. He should have no trouble here kicking it over. Just the behind so far in the game to Donaghy. And that's a little problem there. So three more points to Ireland and their margin is back out to 30 once again, which is the equal game high. And the Aussies are in a lot of trouble in this series. Donaghy, the three-time All-Ireland star. He's played in three winning medal games for Kerry, an outstanding player, and he, along with big Tommy Walsh and Ty Canale are the Kerry boys that are really putting on a great performance here tonight. O'Reilly got it deep, put the heat on the Aussie defence, but they stand up this time. Douglas had Kelly with him in tow. Turns a trick or two through the middle. That was pretty smart stuff with Shields and... Vince and now Frawley comes away. It's been a good combination. They were at, is that some high contact or is that too many handballs? Yeah, that would have been the five. Yeah, so it's a quick turnover. Walsh, happy to use that again. It's Glenn. He can come out to the edge of the 13. Okay, the Irish boys have sneaked forward, haven't they, Kevin? Been, been left unchecked. Yeah, they're slipping an extra one over the back, aren't they? There's so much space in the Irish. Here she goes. The Irish lead now after 33 points. Matt Suckling goes to drop kick straight up the middle of the ground. And Ireland another opportunity here. Here we go again through Kelly. Paddy Kelly couldn't find a teammate. Callum Ward over to Frawley. Here's Wood. And balls to Vince, who's been just about Australia's best player tonight along great with kick. Douglas. Was a great kick down the line to Green. And that's an ambitious handball. He coughed it straight up, and Ireland again on the rebound. Taken by McKernan. Out wide to Hanley. Good kick into the midfield. Callahan. Twists and turns. A little short one's come off. And providing some run was McKernan again, who stalled from half back. And he has kicked it over. And that is sensational play from Kevin. To negotiate. You heard the choice offered to him. Bombs it up. And doesn't make it. Oh, it's still in dangerous territory as far as Australia are concerned. Wojcinski sends it right back out. And out of danger. Riley didn't quite have it covered. The fumble came though from Trent McKenzie. <laughs> well, this is for casual brilliance. Riley's chipping. Ball is superb. Clean back. Into the back of the net. And the Irish can do no wrong. It's been a tough old night in goals for Matt Suckling. Gee, you finished that one well, Kev. Yeah, not too much that Matt Suckling could yeah, do about that one. Great, I think he was very loose with that turnover. Uh, Glenn given too much space on that Actually, occasion. Suckling did pretty well to go the right yeah, way. he did.